channel. Today I'm doing this look which is how to get these curls using the Lee Stafford Chopstick Curler. I will link below where I got it and if you want to know how I do it, stay tuned. So when I curl my hair I use these which are the Lee Stafford Chopstick Curlers. They are absolutely amazing and this is how I do it. This is how I do it. So first of all I put my hair into two parts. I line it at the back, part at the back, line at the back and then I part it into four sections so you've got two this side and two that side I will then clip up the two at the top I don't, I don't really do this neatly so then I clip up the two at the top and then I go with the curlers they heat up really really quick so these have just literally been on for like a couple of minutes and then what I do let me just get rid of that bit is I take in I normally start at the back because I find it easier to work my way forward and I get a little bit, depends how curly you want it but I get a little bit like this wrap it round keep going on the bottom, I like where it curls so much I don't really go that close to the root, it saves time and it doesn't really need doing because of the top layer will be so curly you won't be able to see it um, so the bigger curls you want you would use more hair the thinner curls um, you would use tiny bits so I'm going to show you just a few seconds of how quick it curls into you know it goes quick so it depends like if you use a smaller section it will go more curly, like really ringlety and if you use a bigger bit it will just probably go more wavy um, but it heats up super super quick obviously this has only been on for a couple of minutes and I'm already using it um, but as it gets hotter I normally do it just keep going because the top bit is the bit that you want to be really um, sort of really curled and then you kind of pull it out with your fingers as you can see it's super curly already and then basically I just go in and do this all over. Obviously I've got a lot of hair, so um, I will make this, I will speed this up and come back to you when it is all done. basically done everything apart from these top two sections basically it's because it's right at the top of your head and you start, kind of want to make sure you want where your parting is and all that jazz so what I'm gonna do is you kind of want to go it depends how you want it because I pull my hair over the sides it doesn't really necessarily matter do you want to pick up all the bits that you haven't curled it won't be much and then you want to work from the back front because some bits you'll want to go backwards like this one and other parts you'll want to go to the side so that is what I'm going to do Once you've curled all your hair, you kind of want to run your hands through it a little bit, give it a bit of a ruffle, <laughs> ruffle, you know, rough it up a little bit, and you are done. So this is the Lee Stafford um, curling wand. If you haven't curled your hair or used heated irons or anything like that before, I would 100% ask someone else to do it or um, wear gloves because it is so hot. Even this top bit that you have to hold is super hot. It's really easy, just switch on the switch and it takes about two minutes, not even that, to warm up. And yeah, I would really recommend it. I absolutely love how it turns out and I always get loads of compliments and questions about um, how I do it. So I thought I would do this video for you all. 
So if you like my hair like this, but you also, if you like this makeup, there is a link below of the tutorial I did. So go and check it out and give it a like if you like it. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more like this, give it a like, um, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new.